good snowy May morning in Truckee. Good morning. I haven't seen you in a while. I miss you guys. Let me show you how to make my favorite hmm, flying. It's a cylinder. It's not an airplane. Check this out. So let me set you up so you can watch me make this. I've got to set you up here. I'll put you on the edge of the table so you can watch me fold. All right, you need one full sheet of paper. And it works best. You can try it this way, but I'm going to fold it long ways. That seems to work better for me. What you're going to do is fold up the very end about as wide as your finger, maybe a little less. And make a really careful straight fold all the way across. That's the hard one. Once you get that made, crease it down. That's pretty good. Crease it down. Make sure the edges are straight. And you do it again. You're going to roll it over, roll it, and fold it, and crease it flat. And roll it, fold it, crease it flat. And you're going to keep doing this for about three-fourths or a little more of your paper. Keep rolling and folding. You can do a, once you get it going, you can do two at a time to speed it up. One, two. Crease it really flat. Use your thumbnail or your fingernail. Let's see, my paper's getting shorter. Crease it flat. And you'll notice as I go, it's getting a little bit wider. One, two, crease it flat. That's pretty good. I'm gonna do one more. Make it about there. Okay. See how wet it is? Alright, crease all that flat. Now you folded this so many times that this is really stiff, the folded edge. So here's what you're gonna do to make it curve. You're gonna take it over to the edge of your table or a chair, put the folded side down. You pull it across the edge of the table a bunch of times. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of times. The more you do it, the better. All right. See how it kind of curves on its own now? Now what you're going to do is bend it around, kind of bend the edges. And I'm going to tuck one into the other. See there? Now, just to make sure it doesn't come apart while it's flying, let me scoot you over. You're too close to the edge. I don't want you to fall off. Be a bad way to start a Monday. All right, pull this off. Okay. I'm going to just take this over the edge to hold it. And I'm going to do the same thing here on the back side. And over we go. Alright. Hmm. I'm just kind of stretch it around. Make it round. It's a little stiff right there where it's folded, so let's pinch that just a little bit. Okay. This round, pretty good. Now this folded edge is the front. So I'm going to turn it over. This is the back. When you throw it, you're going to hold it like this. And either flick your wrist or, like a football, kind of spin it off your fingers. All right, let's see how we do. Okay, this is my house. Lots of plants. You know me. Plants in the classroom, plants. Oh, here we go. Here, I'm going to flick it and see how far it goes across the living room. Here we go. What do you think about that? There's a couple of things you can do to change. One is, like I said, change. Here's some other ones I made. This one, I folded on the wide side. So the front isn't quite as heavy. I don't think it flies as well, but you can try yours. Okay, so one thing you can do is change. Let's look inside. How wide do you make this fold? Maybe you make it wider and then fold the last one in half to make it half as wide. 
Maybe you make it littler to start with. Another design I saw, while well, I'm at watch the man do it, he took his paper, folded it long ways, but he folded the entire thing so it was one big strip, and he laid it right here, and then he kept rolling until it looked like this. But because he had two papers, this front was really heavy. His flew pretty good, I have to say. You could also try putting paper clips like here and here and here and here if you want to see if that adds extra weight. Or what if you just did two? I haven't tried it. What happens if you add the weight on the back? Hmm, lots of designs. What if you use a smaller paper? What if you use a stiffer paper? Or what if you use something really thin like newspaper? I'm not sure how that works. I've never tried it. So you go try it. Tell me how it works. Bye.